Today. Now going over to the Culture Pilot Podcast, you have Candace Owens' tweet saying, I'm free going viral, to say the least, on X Twitter. Now this comes earlier this week, Candace and the Daily Wire parted ways, and she was perhaps their most, I want to say one of their loudest ambassadors or podcasters. She is very, it's a nice way of saying this, bombastic, which is extremely entertaining. She is one of the most successful podcasters bar none. She does not back down from a fight, as a youth might say, or my grandpa would probably say something like that, actually, now that I think about it. But she is very opinionated, which, again, is great from a media perspective. She has a very, she has a, a, unique, a unique voice, and she doesn't start like me half of the time, so it's much more interesting. But nevertheless, if you click the subscribe button, it may very well, may assist with my speaking in the I have a theory, not a doctor or a scientist by any means, but the more subscribers I've gained, the better I've been speaking. Some might argue she's a modicum of improvement, just a little bit, but if you watch the first couple of episodes, I spoke a lot faster, believe it or not. I sort of stumbled over my words even more and mispronounced even more words. But the more subscribers, the less I've messed up. So if you can click that button, or if you already did, I especially appreciate you taking the time to tune in again. Tell your friends and share it. I would greatly appreciate it. Now, going back to my attempting to speak about Candace Owens, she was perhaps one of the most popular, well-known personalities or podcasters from The Daily Wire. And she butted heads with Ben Shapiro, who's the co-founder of The Daily Wire, and he's another media personality or podcaster at the company. And they had a lot of contrarian statements and beliefs, and they're kind of butting heads for quite some time. So it's not too surprising that they chose to part ways. Now, Candace said this on her social media, and this is one of her most popular tweets. And she said, literally, quote, The rumors are true. I'm finally free. If you'd like to support my work, you can head to CandaceOwens.com, where you can be directed to my locals page, or you can give a gift at GoCandice.com. There will be many announcements in the weeks to come. American flag cross sign, unquote. And I can't help but think, I wonder if she didn't see this coming. Because I say this because, again, she has a locals, which I think is not glorified GoFundMe, but it's not her own media entity. And if she knew this was coming, I can't help but think, she would probably have already built out either a contract with a competing media company like Patrick McDavid or PPD, or maybe even, what is it, uh, yeah, Tim Pool or Tim Cast IRL, or even something like Tucker Carlson. And I can't suspect she's a very independent voice, but I think when you go on your, when you, if you actually build out your own infrastructure, it's a lot of work, it's a lot of time, it's a lot of money, it's, you need a lot of resources. So I think she will most likely join another media entity. But the fact that she didn't already have that from the get-go, or she didn't immediately just start a new contract, or she didn't immediately have a page like, hey, click here because I just joined this company, that makes me kind of suspect that she didn't see this coming, even though, again, based on even what we've seen publicly, probably could have seen it coming. And again, this went pretty viral. got 7.6 million views and 121,000 likes, which is the most likes I think we've seen on this show in terms of looking at an individual tweet. That is astronomically... I mean, I'm trying to think, I think 76,000 was the last number of likes where we saw a very viral statement or even a comment on X Twitter. So it's one of the most liked posts we've seen of the year. And spoiler, I think, you know, given her audience, a lot of people follow her, they'll probably be overwhelming support of her, but hopefully they'll have a couple of contrarian statements just to make life a little more interesting. Now, one of the first comments comes from Ultra Dupa, Duper Maga, MLK Parody, and it's a picture of MLK wearing the Maga hat. And he said, quote, so you got fired for not kissing the ring and calling a spade a spade. Ben Shapiro has put himself out on an island. I gained a lot of respect for you, Candace. We got your back. Thumbs up emoji, American flag emoji. I'm quoting 92 likes. You also have Red Wave Press saying, quote, I could see Owens teaming up with Tucker Carlson on his new network, unquote, getting 1.8 thousand likes. You have the Art of Purpose saying, quote, Elon should offer you a show on X. There, you are 10,000 times the talent of Don Lemon. Unquote, getting 8.5 thousand likes. Now, fact check, he's probably more like 100,000, 200,000 times more having more talent than Don Lemon. Now, that being said, Don Lemon is as entertaining as a lemon when you go to the grocery store. I mean, it just sits there and doesn't do much, and it's mostly sour. Pun, obviously, intended. He also lasted like one day on X Twitter before Elon fired him for his ineptitudes, but I partially digress. You also have Morgan Ariel saying, quote, Congrats to you. God will continue to elevate you and stand when you stand for him there are no limits to what he may do for you you're in my prayers proverbs 28 1 quote the wicked flee where no man uh, pursueth but the righteous are bold as a lion unquote 
that got 3,000 likes. So thus far, overwhelming 100% ratio of everyone agreeing with her, supporting her. You have George Galloway saying, quote, good luck, ma'am, unquote, getting 2.7 thousand likes. Norm Cruz saying, quote, good luck on leaving the Daily Zionist Candace, unquote, getting 6,000 likes. Michael Ray Curry said, quote, congrats, the ADL is about to take a massive L, unquote, getting 1.6 thousand likes. Noble said, quote, the Daily Wire just showed us that free speech stops at Jews in Israel. The notice is about to go through the roof. 100%, 100%, unquote. 6.1 6.1 thousand likes. Uncorrupted men saying, quote, I stand with Candace, hashtag. Also, F the Daily Weird, unquote, which is a parody of what the Daily, it's called the Daily Wired, or the Daily Wire, not the Daily Weird. Nevertheless, that did get 2.3 thousand likes. You also have Malcolm Flex saying, quote, here we go, she's going on her Tucker Ark, unquote, getting 1.2 thousand likes. Sneeko simply said, call Ben Shapiro the word, unquote, getting 5.1 thousand likes. Let's see here. Classics Gryop saying, quote, not surprised that the Daily Wire stood with the butt plug unholy rabbi over you. Their controlled opposition, unquote, getting 1.6 thousand likes. Let's see. Barry Stanton saying, quote, Jewish cancel culture has taken its last victim. We must all leave the daily woke right now. The people stand with Candace, unquote, getting 1.7 thousand likes. Let's see here. The impartial truth said, quote, the daily J couldn't handle the heat. There's a picture of Candace Owens dressed up, dressed up as a flamethrower soldier getting 509 likes. Let's see here. J.D. Sharp says, you just moved up my presidential candidate list in 2028. I'm quoting 291 likes. Let's see. There has to be some contrarian statements. Dave Benner, nemesis of neocons, chimes in saying, quote, seems as if Ben Shapiro's feelings don't care about the facts. You'll do just fine. I'm quoting 255 likes. Let's see. Zeno says, quote, congratulations, Candace. Can't wait to see what the future holds. Looking forward to your next move, unquote. You have my support. Getting 426 likes. Let's see. Zaherka said, quote, now I can go harder, unquote. Getting 710 likes. Halan Nation said, quote, the truth shall set, shall set you free, unquote. Getting 400 likes. Let's see here. Gina Botiempo said, quote, congrats. Excited to see what's next, unquote. Getting 246 likes. Tony Bennett says, quote, Candace remains the undefeated America First Warrior of Christ who can't be bullied. I'm quoting 634 likes. Let's see how many comments there are total. Probably a couple. Yeah, 13,000 comments. Now, granted, we don't have, I was about to say we don't have time to do that. I don't think that's impossible to cover all of that in 24 hours. Unless I spoke really, really fast. Which, if you've seen the show before, unfortunately, I do. But, yeah, joking aside, I mean, overwhelming res- positive responses for her and it will be interesting to see where does she go at the end of the day does she launch her own independent media company instead of her own independent infrastructure does rumble maybe offer her a deal where they'll take care of the infrastructure and back end logistics and all she has to do is you know do her show let me know where do you think she would be the most successful given her personality her background her passions and her take on most topics do you think she would succeed at you know just going to somewhere like patrick Matt david or pbb podcast or do you think maybe Timcast IRL, she might be maybe going on their show a little more? I mean, let me know as always. I'll be fascinated here what you have to say. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in today. Again, I'm trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you can click that button, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment. It's a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone to stay safe, fight the good fight.